Hi, welcome to the Lighthouse Podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk about how the state of Connecticut is giving buyers free money to apply as a down payment and closing costs. Stick around for more. Hi, welcome back. I'm here with my good friend and business partner, Danny Silva. Danny, how you doing? Good, sir. How are you? Thank Good. you. We also have the Honorable Mr. Jose Vladimir Lopez from Guaranteed Rate Affinity. Jose, how you doing? The Honorable. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Danny. Thank you I for feel like me. Jose is going to be the only judge who didn't have a law degree at all, just came from mortgage and then became a judge in whatever small town. In yeah, America. yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yes, That's indeed. Jose. That's Jose for you. So, Jose, thank you for being here with us today. Um, Delighted to be here. We... Um, called this last minute podcast uh, because of some time sensitive information that we've been receiving over the last couple of weeks from the state of Connecticut, more mm -hmm. specifically uh, CHAFA, which is the Connecticut Housing Funding Authority. Um, and they had this program, right, called Time to Own, Time to Own um, which basically gives some free money, quote unquote, to uh, certain buyers uh, who may qualify. I mean, some of your clients have been calling you about it too, right? Yeah, yeah. My DMs are filled sure. with, how can I get some of this free money? Yeah, exactly. I didn't even know about it uh, until a client of mine called me on it. So um, uh, we were like, we have to do a video on this as soon as possible, just so we can understand a little bit better because especially with everything that's going on, rates going up and, uh, um, you know, the, the market, the turn that it's taking that shift a little bit it's always it's always good to have good news um so if you can elaborate on that a little bit for us jose and go over uh what the what the program is all about i'm happy to do that for you guys danny and thank you again for having me here so yes in fact um back on june 13th governor ned lamond announced a program or launched a program called time to own which is a forgivable down payment assistance program or a grant for first time buyers who c qualify for the program. And, and I would say first time buyers in quotations because there are some prior homeowners who can potentially qualify, but that's getting into the weeds and I don't wanna do that. But essentially it is for, for uh, buyers who wanna buy their first home. Um, the program is administered by CHFA and essentially the program provides down payment and closing cost assistance. There is $20 million available. I don't know how much money is available now since the program was announced, but I know that it is time sensitive in the sense that the money is limited. It is a, a true grant. It is, a, it is the 10 year zero interest, uh, non amortizing loan and one-tenth of the principal is forgiven every year on the anniversary of the mortgage until it is fully forgiven. That's awesome. So that's, that's how literally it works. Literally free money. Yeah, literally free money. Okay. Yeah, literally free money. So the applicant must be uh, a first-time buyer or perhaps, depending on where they're buying, but ideally it's for first-time buyers uh, and they need to prove that they have lived in the state of Connecticut for at least three years more than likely, the way to prove that, the state is going to ask for taxes yeah. to show that they have filed taxes in the state of Connecticut for the past three years. The grant ranges anywhere from 25000 to 50000 50000 is the highest amount, and the 50000 can potentially be awarded to a person uh, who is trying to buy a property on what is considered a high opportunity or very high opportunity area. And essentially what that means is a community that has a lot of resources, uh, for example. Rich, rich towns. <laughs> That's I, didn't, I, I know, you don't want to say, say it, but I'll say it. <laughs> but, but it's like, you know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, um, there's, there's low poverty rate, there's uh, high access to jobs, uh, there's good, uh, um, uh, there's, there's low rental housing or affordable housing available in that area. Uh, there's high quality schools. So yeah, very good, you know, high, very good neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so you can potentially get 50,000 if you are buying in, in, in that kind of a neighborhood. Like so for example, Greenwich. Yeah. You know? So and let's say for a lot of our um, listeners and, and clients and friends who live in the greater Danbury area, Danbury, what's that limit? 
So for the Danbury area, it would still be Fairfield County, and mm -hmm. they would be within the fifty thousand uh, dollar range. Okay, awesome. Yeah, awesome. Well. So how does um, how does it work? Let's say Oops. you approach a mortgage agent and you say, "Hey, what what about this program? Uh, do I qualify yeah, for let it?" Let me make a correction on that. Sure. Uh, Richfield is as far as it goes with the fifty thousand. And then when you go to the Danbury area, Ethel, okay, Danbury is 25. 25, 000. yeah. Danbury so 25. basically, um, they want to be able to give you more of this grant if you're willing to buy in a town um, that may be more expensive. Correct. Um, Correct. But also more resources and all that. Correct. So they, want, they can move a few people around. Correct. Yeah. Correct. yeah, because I was looking into, if I believe Bridgewater, um, which is super low density uh, town, um, but I think Bridgewater, if I'm not mistaken, um, is also fifty thousand um, grand. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. Fifty thousand for Bridgewater. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, uh, Alex's question on that, Jose, yeah. um, how does he how does he apply to a loan like the grant? It, how, if somebody comes to you today. How do I how do I get this so like how, how how does it work sure. like towards down payment towards like it I don't so basically the program the applicant has to apply and be able to qualify for a CHFA first mortgage so CHFA is involved from the beginning to the end they will be financing the property the first mortgage and if the applicant needs down payment assistance and closing cost assistance then they will have access to the time to own grant. And also, they'll have access to the traditional, regular down payment assistance program that is provided by CHFA. So if essentially, for people who don't know what CHFA, can you can you sure. just so CHFA is the Connecticut Housing Finance Authority. It is the state fair housing or affordable housing program. Okay. And it is a program designed to provide financing to low and moderate to low and moderate income uh, yeah. residents or or okay. uh, yeah, they're citizens of Connecticut, they're you know, residents of Connecticut. Basically a bank. Essentially, yeah. you're correct. That's yeah. a very good way to put so it. So compared to, let's say, FHA, which is just a guarantee, that is and correct. your bank will give you an FHA that is loan, the government guarantees Excellent it. Excellent way yeah. to put it. CHFA essentially is a bank. Um, what happens, what they're doing is that the state of Connecticut generates a bond. They issue a bond. All this bond is sold in the market, and this money is collected and pulled together and put into the CHFA pot. And this money is used to provide affordable mortgages for low to income borrowers. Yeah. And what happens is that th this, I mean, the state manages that process. They provide financing and under the umbrella or the bank of CHFA, a borrower can get a conventional mortgage. Mm -hmm. They can get an FHA mortgage, a VA and a USDA mortgage. And there are other programs that uh, CHFA provides as well, like financing for mobile homes, for example. Yeah. They provide financing for mobile homes as well because the objective and the mandate, the legal mandate for uh, the housing authority is to help residents of Connecticut With lower be, able to be able to buy homes. That's the goal, to yeah. put people gotcha. into houses, those gotcha. who can afford yeah. to buy a home. Yeah. But again, th this, this grant has been designed or has been brought by the, by the state to help buyers who are having a difficult time coming up with the money to cover the down payment and closing costs, especially for expensive areas. Yeah. And that's the whole purpose of this program. So to put that in, um, to put that in a, to a different perspective, um, a buyer wants to buy a house for $400,000, mm -hmm. right? Um, and let's say that they can qualify with CHAP for 3% down, mm -hmm. right? So um, and then they also have to pay closing costs, which in most cases around, you know, that price range is about 3% as well. So now you, we're looking at 6%. Mm -hmm. um, buyer comes in, gets pre-qualified, uh, wants to take advantage of the grant. Let's say they're buying in an area with 25000 instead of the fifty. Mm -hmm. Um 3% for down payment plus 3% for closing costs. We're looking at 6%, 6% of 400000 that's going to be $24,000. Right. Right. So basically they're coming in. Um, the monies out of pocket that they were going to have to bring would equate to about 24000 But in this case, they're applying for the grant, which covers up to $25,000, and then they just free and clear. That is that correct. That money covers all of that. That is correct. 
and then it's almost like it's a like hundred percent finance, yeah, pretty right? Much. Yeah. And twenty five thousand is already it's it's you know you know like obviously if you can get fifty thousand dollars towards everything, but twenty five thousand sure. dollars is it's a good help. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's it's, it's great help. Yeah, yes. it, it it'll it'll get a lot of people through the finish line. That's uh, correct, Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, is is the I think the difficult job is for for realtors as yourself to be able to. I don't want to say, I guess to sell the program and convince sellers that when they see an offer for somebody who's bringing CHFA financing, not to be afraid of it. Yeah. A lot of sellers don't want to accept it because they think, oh, they're not putting any down payment down. It's some kind of a grant. They, the borrower is not going to be able to qualify, but that's far from the truth. CHFA really requires that lenders, again, we have to follow all lending guidelines, plus the uh, overlays that CHFA has in place. We are generating or creating, originating, I should say, some very solid mortgages. It's just that the people that we are serving through Chafa are people who just, just don't have, they have the jobs. It's just difficult to come up with 10% down payment, 15% down yeah. payment plus closing costs. It's difficult, yeah. but they are able to afford a, a mortgage with no problem. And considering how high rental rates are, are going, a lot of people can actually afford to pay a mortgage. It's just coming up with the money to yeah. get them that is what's difficult, and this program is designed yeah, to help. Oh, yeah. It makes it easier for you to, let's say, if a, if a prospect buyer qualifies to the program, it's actually cheaper to buy a house with $25,000 down assistant, which will cover all your initial costs, then coming up with two months security deposit and first month's rent on a $2,500 rental. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's $7,500 yeah. yeah. right yeah. off the bat. Yeah. Absolutely. Which yeah. The landlord won't Absolutely. give you a grant for that or no. forgive it. <laughs> Absolutely. There's something I should say, though, about this program. It, it, it has stricter income requirements than the regular Chaffa program would. Um, can't make too much money. <laughs> can't make too much money, unfortunately. Um, to qualify, for example, for Fairfield County, to qualify for the 50000 uh, grant, um, it is based on the... Um, I believe eighty percent, the eighty percent of the uh, area medium income, and for Fairfield County is about one hundred eight thousand seven twenty. So eighty uh, percent of that. Yeah. No, that's the number. Yeah. Okay. Oh so okay. that's number one hundred eight. Uh, one hundred eight yeah. is the is the eighty percent of the area median income in Fairfield County. So that should, you know, so if your income is within that, you should yeah. be able to to be okay. Um, what else I can tell you? If I highly recommend that anyone anyone who has questions about this program, please visit. The CHFA website. Yeah, which we'll put the link in. Uh, that'll in be this fantastic because yeah. there's a lot of information there. And of course, reach out to a trusted loan officer who can guide you and help you and give you information about the program. And, but and, and who, who participates on who it participate, as well. Yes. Because the way that I found out about the program was a lender that called me uh, and they were representing one of my clients. And then they were referring the loan out because they did not. They, and they that's an excellent, excellent point. Actually, this program, the time to own, was invitational only, and there's only 12 lenders in the state of Connecticut who are participating. Unfortunately, um, my company is not part of those uh, lenders, but I do know of the program because I need to know. Yeah. Uh, I get a lot of customers calling and asking about it, first-time buyers who ask about it, so it's my job to guide them and tell them of which course. way to go. So on above and beyond. For above and clients. beyond, and, and yeah. generating value to yeah. the community. So That's by awesome. Yeah, so yeah. But there are 12, uh, 12 lenders who are authorized to do the program. And um, and yes, that's exactly what I have. And well, I your have mother referred. company, right, is, is our mothership, in there. Yes, our yeah. mothership yeah. is there, yeah. yeah. Guaranteed Rate Inc. is there, but Guaranteed Rate Affinity, which is the company I represent, we are not. We were yeah. not. Gotcha. Uh, we're not gotcha. participating. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you'd be more than happy to answer a few questions, uh, even from our own clients who reach out to you. Oh, no um, questions. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 All right. Very good. We uh, we really thankful for uh, the time that you spend with us and educating our clients and educating us um, since this program is new to all of us. Um, thank you so much. And uh, we're hoping that um, we can bring more people to you so you can educate them, so you can talk to them and, they, and you can answer their questions. Um, we'll leave your information in our um, chat as well, in our um, page as well so in case people can reach out to you um, you can talk about this program and if this doesn't work for them then you can definitely Absolutely. talk about other programs that you may offer Alex thank you very much Danny thank you very much for the opportunity thanks for and being it's here always my pleasure to pay it forward with you guys yeah. that's what we do pay it forward I mean that's the way it goes I appreciate it. appreciate that. it thank you, thank you.
So thank you so much for watching the episode today. This was uh, some crucial information of what the uh, state of Connecticut is doing for new buyers. Uh, if you'd like some more information, please reach out to us. We're going to leave some information down below here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the channel with uh, some of your friends and somebody that you could think that could take advantage of this. It's a great opportunity. We'll see you guys next time with some great content. As always, the Lighthouse Podcast.